Hey guys, we got the diesel heater finally going. Yeah, it's working. So, man, it's cold in here. <laughs> I guess we we'll have to play with this thing and see how it goes. I'm not too, sh not too sure about it. Don't have a whole lot of experience. It's, it's kind of heaters. Oh. See if I can top you guys somewhere. Yeah, there you have it. It's running, but <laughs> no heat yet. <laughs> I guess I have to read the manual. But it's like knocking and stuff, so I guess it's priming the pump. But, uh, My battery may not be optimal either. It's doing something. It's uh, tapping, so don't know. It's boring now. Let's go outside guys and uh, see how much smoke it's putting out, if any. Good. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, but oh yeah, baby! Oh god, I love my heat. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I've suffered. Many old winters I've suffered. Mind you, I've always had wood in my my shop, but this is this is a miracle. Nothing like it. But like I said, I'm getting a bit of a smell of something, but it could be just new, right? I don't know. And right now I got it on. Uh... Oh man, <laughs> it's so wicked. Ah oh, man. Unbelievable. This is so nice. Oh man, awesome. Right on, on number six setting. It's pretty it's pretty good heat. Pretty simple. Simple, simple, simple. Yeah, it's <sighs> yeah. Oh man. So, I should have a fan over here too, pushing the heat from this out to here too. But, it looks alright, I guess. This is putting up quite a bit of heat here too. Anyways, I'll keep you guys going for a bit longer.
So I'll wear my pinkies up and read the manual a little bit more. Anyways, my machinery is supposed to come today, but uh, I got uh, five pieces of excavators coming today. It's supposed to be coming today, but uh, right, five crates of me. But uh, no, no go. So because uh, we got another dump of snow here, so I was working last night, so plowing, so. Already go and the guy came over and he dropped the uh, well he's supposed to drop off the uh, I, I'm renting a, a, a te uh, telehandler I call it telehandler telehandler it was like four clip things and uh, they brought me the wrong one of course too much bigger than I need so they're bringing me another one tomorrow and they're supposed to bring of course I thought the my stuff was coming today uh, not so it's coming tomorrow hopefully so getting a machine tomorrow so and we got three to the snow on the ground and it's melting so it's actually kind of noisy actually it's a bit noisier than I thought but that's okay Better than freezing your balls. I don't know if I don't want to leave this thing running in here while I'm not here. But, uh, it's working. What I want to get to is a carbon monoxide uh, tractor. We had an oil furnace. Uh, at the farm there for many many years I could swear always once in a while I get a whiff of something because I spent most of my time downstairs but uh, anyways not that I'll be in here a long period of time I you know I have there's a, a gap in the door there and there's got another gap down there but uh, maybe we'll address those it's much cold air coming in. It's working. It's blowing. I only have it on number six setting. Number ten, it was just this giving her. So, I'm just reading the manual. I didn't even look at it. Plug and play, I guess. I don't know. Just press the button on off and there you go. So, can't get more simple than that. So, I think we're going to read the manual some more. I'll take it to the house and read it. Something I am noticing though is um, something I'm noticing the pipe is getting hot. Of course, it would be getting hot, right? There. No, it is getting hot. Good for me because I like touching hot things, but it's getting hot, pretty hot. So, good thing I left a gap in there. There's not a gap there. I don't know. It's working. And the fan helps. Put you know, air. Not hot air. But it's pulling out that air. So.
I think what I might do here in the future is try to maybe make some kind of tin baffle thing where I can put it so a lot of the hot air comes down like this, right, in directed here, so we get a mixture here. But, you know, it works. So, anyways, guys, there you have it. So, got it working, and uh, I'm happy. Putting out some heat, and uh, go from there. So, well, guys, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this heater. And this is helping a lot with this fan here. It, I wish I'd had a thermometer or something to check temperature, but it's it's pumping the heat out. It really, really is. I mean, it's pretty hot. I can't even keep my hand here too long. Oh, but it feels so good. God damn it. Man, it's so nice. Here I'm thinking. Of, here I was thinking of putting wood stove in here. I think I'm gonna see the hell with that idea. Just use this little thing. It's perfect. Well, we can't beat wood heat though. But this is <laughs> definitely a good option. Anyways, now I'm gonna turn it down. Even one puts out so much heat. Oh, this is so awesome. But the fan is definitely, um, the fan is definitely a good investment. I can, having some kind of fan to blow out that heat is definitely a good investment. Like, I can really say that. So, I mean, it's, Heat's still coming out, it's still spinning. I'm gonna turn it off. That is so nice. I mean, I could probably run this thing on number six all day long and if I could be happy as a pig in poop. So. Thing is, I don't know if I should leave it plugged in though. And I'm not sure if I should leave it on the battery or not, right? Because I'm not going to be in here for a while. I don't know. I just let it cool down, do this thing, but maybe what I'll do is I'll... I mean, I got it kind of temporary set on here with some hose clamps on the battery. Because mostly what I use around here on my cars and stuff like that, GM style, is of uh, side posts. So... That's uh, so what I had, is what I'm working with. So, but I'm going to have to put the uh, battery charger, or set up a battery tender on this thing, like I planned in the, in the past year. I still have to order one on Amazon. This kind of, is a cheap one. Don't have to get, not, not to get too crazy. But uh, anyways, good little battery tender. It tells you, just, well, whatever. Just in case you battery charge. But it stays on for a while. Cause it cool, cause it, I guess from what I understand is, even though you shut it off, it still goes through a cooling process, right? So that's why they recommend you going with a uh, battery over the uh, um, over uh, regular power, because what happens is uh, you basically melt down the because the engines get so hot. I mean, it's not even hot. It's not even hot here at all. So, so. I wouldn't want to touch the pipe though. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so I mean, I put in, <clears throat> I don't know, a gallon. No, I don't know. I think I put in like about two liters in there. Even that, even that. Yeah, well, not about two, about two liters. Maybe not even that. Cause, uh, I didn't, I didn't want to put too much in there to start it off. But you know, it's doing its job. It's cooling off and such. But um, I think if I'm not working in here, I think I will. Uh, end up just undoing the uh, uh, fitting there. No big deal. So, um, I don't know. Tell what you guys think. But uh, anyways, there you have it.
pretty happy. It does a job better than a wood heater at the moment. It'll serve its purpose for what we're doing. So, but um, I'm gonna have to um, bring a, a, a CO2 tester or um, carbon monoxide tester. I guess the same thing, CO2 tester. But um, carbon monoxide tester, stick in here and make sure you're not getting any, any fumes. But what happened, What as you can see in the video there, that pipe goes right through that uh, tube, right? Through the wall here. And this is not even hot. It's just not even hot at all. So it works, this works really, really good, this little thing I made. So, yeah. It works, if it works, it works, right? I mean, I don't recommend you doing what I did here. I mean, it's something I did and because, you know, I'm kind of an inventor that way. So, my old man used to say to me, you got a brain, use it. So, but, anyways, works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, pretty happy. Pretty happy with what it is. So, anyways, guys, yeah, I'll turn it off now. I think I am gonna just uh, just get on, uh, just undo the connection here. Cause I just don't trust it. So I'll probably end up putting a different kind of fitting on there, maybe. Don't plug it there. No big deal. I, I just don't want to leave it plugged in, discharging the battery. So, but yeah. So, anyways, guys, there you have it. Works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. But we'll have to go use it for a whole day in here and see how it goes. But I have, I think I'll have no problems with number six setting on there, running this all day long in the shop here. So, I think this garage is somewhat insulated. But I mean, we got air coming out of the door. And we air coming over there, so it's not like it's airtight in here. But we have to put something on the, along the floor there to prevent the air from coming underneath the door. The door is not insulated. Not, the door is not insulated. But, you know, it'll help. And I'm already <sighs> happier anyways than I was before. So, all right, guys. I mean, the pumpkin, but pretty soon it's going to be filled with all sorts of stuff in here. And it won't. I have a little pathway to walk around. We'll have to jump around stuff to get in here. So, but yeah, there you have it. So, hey guys, thanks for watching my video. And uh, remember, you get your hands on one of these little heaters for your little shop. It's a good investment. But I suggest uh, getting some of this heat tape and put along places where that pipe's going to be near, like I have done there. So, and definitely do a heating duct. That's definitely a uh, a must, I would I think, for this kind of thing. So heat duck on there, but make sure you don't have it anywhere near anything that's going to get too hot or might melt it. No, I don't think it gets that hot, but, you know, never know. But, um, you know, and have the fan there, too, that really helps a lot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.